Hello everybody. Uh, in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to replace the battery on a Garmin Nuvi 205W GPS. So here we have a Garmin Nuvi 205W uh, which has a defective uh, battery. I will zoom into the model number later and we want to replace it. So here's how we do it. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to find a screwdriver with the correct shape or I should say the correct tip which is a star star shaped screwdriver that matches the screws on the back. And we have to peel off this label very nice and easily so we don't destroy it because this is something that we have to reuse. We have to reuse this label. You could stick it back on the back of the GPS. All right, so we will open this nice and easily. Open the other one nice and easily. And tap in the back, see if the screws don't come out. You can take it with your nails. You have to have long nails when you're fixing GPS units, especially garments, because they're very hard to take apart w without having nails. I mean, you could use metallic objects, but if you use metallic objects to take them apart, you will scratch them and destroy them. Human nails are the natural, soft uh, prying tool, which doesn't scratch the GPS. So watch how I t take it apart. there so the GPS has been taken apart don't lose this because this is very hard to find if it drops the little screws are here you don't want to lose that either so here you have an invisible small tape which you need to remove this tape cannot be peeled out this way because you will damage the cable so you have to peel it sideways like this so it doesn't bring pressure on the cable so like that take it out you can reuse this tape, you don't have to throw it away. And then, see that uh, white tab? You have to pull it this way, like that. See, it's the tab is like that, you have to do it this way. See? All right, so now the screen has been disengaged. Now we have to open these four screws to have access to the plug where the battery plugs into. So basically you need not only a star screwdriver, you also need a flat a Phillips because these screws are Phillips. Now this is not a very good screwdriver, I need to get another one with a m m much better grip. This seems to be better, yeah. Okay, open the second screw. Open the third screw and the last screw. Okay, so now we have all these screws which you don't want to lose. Take the board out nice and easily. At the bottom, there are two cables one is for the speaker, the other one for the battery. Pull out the one for the battery. The battery is is glued here with double-sided tape. So you have to use a flat screwdriver like this and slide it inside and pull, pull it up like this, watch. Like that. It's very, very sticky. See, even it sticks to the screwdriver. It's very sticky. So once you pull the battery out, set it aside and get the new battery. Once you get the new battery, it's very important to put a double-sided uh, tape. I use the 3M 467MP. This is the one I use, which is pretty good. I put the first side and then the, uh, peel out the second side. 
like this put it in here and you got yourself a replaced battery okay now what we need to do is plug this in plug it back in and put the motherboard back in put the screws back in oh I need to get the screwdriver okay so I'm gonna put the screws back in put the other screw back in put this screw back in and last but not least this screw once you put all four screws back in now you're going to put this little uh, sliding key there's a notch make sure the notch matches the switch like that now you put back this screw Oh, I think it turned on by itself. I didn't mean to turn it on, but it got turned on. The GPS is on right now, I believe so. It shouldn't be on. It's very bad to put the screen when it's on. Yeah, it was on, so let me turn it back off. Okay, so I turned it off. Now I put the screen nice and neatly. Test it. Make sure it gets the Garmin logo. Yeah. So I turn it back off. Now I'm gonna put put back the tape to hold the cable securely so it doesn't come off by itself. And now we're gonna turn it around, put back these screws. You put back these screws and The second one, now this uh, procedure uh, which you saw applies to all Garmin Nuvi 2XX series where t X can be any number. For example 200, 200W, 200 200, uh, 205, 205W. Uh, 255, 255W, 265, 265W, all of them, all of them. This is how you do it. Uh, this is how you change uh, the battery. Now I'm going to turn it on. The battery which I installed was fully charged. So this is the moment of truth that I'm going to turn it on and I expect it to have a full charge. I'll put all my tools away while this is loading up. Okay. So there you go, the battery is fully charged. Uh, now you see, if you see those waves moving, that's because of the refresh rate of the screen and the shutter speed. And if you want to fix that, all you have to do is change the shutter speed on your camera. And uh, that will fix that. But that's no big deal. Okay, so I changed the shutter speed. And now as you can see, there are no wavy... Uh, lines going up anyway so this is how you do it and uh, uh, make sure that the battery is fully charged test it and uh, that's it okay thank you for watching this video I hope this uh, video was educational and you learned something from it please make sure to click on like and subscribe Thank you.